Right. First thing to do is take the valve off the gooseneck. Once we've got the valve off, we can then take the ball off. When we take, take the ball off, we, we check in the ball for any water inside it to make sure it's not cracked. If it is cracked, we have to change it. Then we take the arm off. To get the arm off, we need to take the split pin out. And the easiest way to take the split pin out is to hold it like this, put your thumb on the split pin, get your pliers right down, bite it tight and make sure that split pin is nice and straight before you pull it out. It should pop out with ease. Make sure you don't lose any parts. Then we take our valve out, our arm out, okay, then we can take the bottom off the valve. Just pulling the valve apart now that off then we can pop pop the valve out and we've got our our main parts when we've pulled the valve apart we need to check some parts three or four parts that we need to look at is the rubber o-ring on there because the valve seals by sitting, pushing down on that rubber o-ring. So the next surface we need to check is the end of this valve to make sure that's smooth. Because that's how it squeezes together. The next thing we need to check is this o-ring to make sure the o-ring's all right. Then have a quick look at your valve to make sure it's not broken. This one here is broken, so it's, it's, it's no good. It's got a break in it. Then, and before we put it back together, we also have a look inside the valve housing, make sure there's no dirt or anything stuck inside. Okay. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna put this valve in, but it is broken. We won't use it. But so when we put the valve back in, we line this groove up with this groove. Pop it in. Put it in and line line those two grooves up so that we can put this arm in. The arm can go either way. If if we can't get that arm in, it's because our, our valve's turned slightly. So we can't get it in. So we just put our finger in, turn the valve so that our arm will go in. Then we pop our split pin in. Hold it in with our thumb and just grab the long tag and bend it very slightly just so that it can't pop out again. Then we take our the seal on the bottom, put it in. Sometimes it's best to turn it backwards until it clicks and then turn it forward. It should go in by right on finger tight and then we just nip it up a little bit. What kind of tool is that? This is a crescent, an adjustable crescent. And we don't you don't need to do it too tight, just just snip it up. Okay? That's your valve back together. Before we put our valve back on the on the um, gooseneck, we have to put some thread tape on. Now when we put thread tape on, we always go the same way the thread goes, which is around that way. Clockwise. Yep, clockwise if you're looking at the end, clockwise. I always put my, my thread tape reel up this way, hold it with your thumb a little bit, and then run it round. Once you've got it round once, you can pull it quite tight. Your thread tape should never go over you never want it to go over the end like that okay it should come around so that you can still see the 
just snip this off. So you can still see the end of your, your brass housing. Okay, and you do two to three turns of thread tape. Then we take it and we put it on our gooseneck. The gooseneck's going to hang up that way. So the hole at the bottom of the valve needs to be coming out the bottom. We tighten this up. When we tighten it up, we need to make sure that the valve is up and down in line with the, you don't want it like that, it needs to be in line with the gooseneck. So we can just hold that and tighten this up. That one needs to be fairly tight. Then we add, put our ball back on. Sometimes there could be a string between the the ball cock and the sometimes is that uh, yeah swing on. it's on a string yeah, this is, uh, yeah. then we bring this back around you're going to fit it on the trough like so i don't put it right on completely i haven't got a nut so i can't actually do this part probably that's right um i'll stop the 